And let's talk more on this. Joining me live now via Skype to discuss the situation in Myanmar is a global affairs analyst, Calvin Dag. Thank you so much for joining us on the news. The United Nations Development Program, uh, in its latest report, raises concern about Myanmar and its risk of falling into poverty in 2022. That year is so close. What's your reading of this? Well, I think one of the things that it just reminds us all is that challenges that existed before COVID-19 and challenges that, like the coup um, that arose during COVID-19, only are exacerbated by the pandemic. And so I think that it is a sobering reminder that this could happen if the report from the UNDP is correct by 2022, which is just around the corner. Now, the issue that remains to be seen is will the U.S. and the international community pay more attention as they should, or will they focus more on you know their own country's COVID relief and not take um, uh, note of what's going on and try to do something to help? So that remains to be seen. Most importantly, Myanmar has been facing security and economic um, quagmire, and it needs to stabilize, you know, looking at all of the things that have been happening in the country. But with the look of things, what could they possibly look to find the way out? Well, I think that one of the things that, in the U.S. example, um, working with uh, Total and Chevron, the gas and oil companies, and, you know, with uh, Thailand, I think... Um, uh, one of the major producers producers there, to work with them to do something that doesn't hurt the people of Myanmar, but that also doesn't fuel um, the military. And so I think that there are things that can be done. Also just in terms of leadership, that with the U.S. and with Europe and other world powers, that if they would make sure that the people of Myanmar know that even during the pandemic, um, that the world is still watching and that they they understand what's going on and will do what they can to fix it. If there's going to be that political will on their part, I don't know. Well, women and children are likely to be uh, the most hit when the pangs of poverty strike in that country, Myanmar, uh, this time around. Is there any possibility whatsoever that the situation in Myanmar might take a positive turn uh, to avert their attendant crisis? Well, as um, the world and Myanmar included recovers from COVID-19, right. I think that could help. Um, women were got more of the brunt of the effects of COVID-19 because um, the jobs they would have outside of the home were most affected by the pandemic. And then women are also the ones who um, would primarily take care of those that are ill. So I think that as we um, recover from the pandemic, that will help. But it's going to take more than that because they still have the crisis of democracy and human rights violations that's going to take outside help to really even begin to solve. Uh, most importantly, when we look at other countries, what are they saying concerning the, you know, giving, granting aid to Myanmar, helping them solve their current crisis? Do you feel that some other countries are coming to their aid? Well, I think that a lot of countries are speaking out. And I will say here in the United States, um, there, it's, it's a rare thing that Democrats and Republicans, um, I'm not going to say agree, but are on roughly the same page as to what needs to be done and how they need to handle it. Unfortunately, from the U.S.'s point of view, that usually means just standing by, issuing statements, um, but being very cautious in how they actually intervene. So I do think that if the U.S. and other world powers really want to help, They'll do more than issue statements, but they'll actually intervene and try to bring the multiple crises happening in Myanmar um, to an end. Well, uh, the political situation in Myanmar is another thing to talk about. How do you think the country uh, will, will be able to go about stabilization? Because it needs to stabilize. Does it look like that country will be will stabilize in a very nearest future? Well, that all depends on how democracy um, thrives. 
because we see that over the last 10 years, um, since the return of democracy, there had been gains, not just on the political end, but um, economically as well. And we see that since the coup in February, how much things have deteriorated. And as the UNDP report said, they could be at um, an alarming rate of poverty by 2022. Right. So I do think it's possible that um, they can overcome this, but it's going gonna, it's gonna to take fixing the system of the d democratic crises as well as the human rights crises before that can even be a reality. Well, we'll see how uh, that happens, but we hope that Myanmar gets back on its feet real soon. Uh, Global Affairs Analyst Calvin Dark joining me from Washington, D.C. Thanks so much for uh, coming to us on the news. Thank you.